Hiya, I'm Shadow Wolf, and you already know the rest. Uh, one, you might actually be able to hear me a lot more clearer now because I've got a new headset. Uh, yes, you are looking at my desktop. Um, the whole point of this is because, see this one here, Five Nights at Freddy's C. Yeah, I'm going to start playing that. As you've probably realised with the first episode of Five Nights at Freddy's 2 I uploaded, I have not exactly seen much gameplay apart from a tiny, tiny little bit. And that's when, from the trailer, and Dwoski Gaming. Apologies if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, first off, thank you for... 447 subscribers. Thank you. Well, oh, that's on behalf of my main YouTube channel. Uh, someone requested that I do a picture. Sean Weston. He suggested me doing some artwork and to let you know about that. I am currently working on it and I am I'd say about 50% done I've just finished drawing Bonnie so you will get that at the next couple of weeks I am doing a Hollywood Undead Street Dream animation map Hosting, no, I'm really unsure of what the actual name for that is, so I'm just going to call it a map host. Hollywood Undead Street Dreams because I love Hollywood Undead. Um, I am also working on a Call of Duty uh, montage with a Scar H currently working that bit out. I am still also working on my Deuce America new thingy video, Deuce America crossover with bloody gah it's in front of me, Resident Evil. Yeah. So, without further ado, I'm going to load Five Nights at Freddy's, switch to in-game recording, and I'll see you there. Okay, let's try this again. I completed the first night, the game crashed after I got hit by the purple guy in that minigame. I don't really understand this, it's like on the first night you don't see or hear anyone. And I just don't get it. It's like, what am I supposed to be looking out for? Because on the first night, on the first game, you have to watch out for Bonnie. Great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, if the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and pass you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a boxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Boo! <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, 
some guy who helped design one of the buildings said it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely Hi. functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's a real risk. The most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. 4 a.m. already. I don't really understand what I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, night one was a breeze the first time. Hi. Wait, why does Balloon Boy appear everywhere? That's a cheek ahead. It's 5 a.m. already. Do the nights go quicker than they do before, or what? That looks like Golden Freddy. I've lost my... Uh, I really do not understand this. If I, if I, yeah. It's like if I follow f Fed it, the purple guy will get me, but if I don't, B, 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 double click. Okay, don't work on that one. B B B B T D double click. B B B double click. Right now we have two specially designed 
that double is both animatronic and suit. Shit, so what? Pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable the and protest maintenance can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards to the camera. To the click the camera. The free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. <laughs> Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, <laughs> providing room to climb and back. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight I'm not so the animatronic around. devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail no, in tomorrow's no, session. No. Remember to smile. You are the face of Brady Fazbear's pizza. No. No. I don't like... I don't like... I don't like... I don't like this. I don't like this. No! How the fuck? I, I don't understand! Go! No! What the fuck do I do? If I turn around, it's gonna get me! What the hell? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? If I look at it, will it go away? Fuck you. Fuck you. Nope. 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 I am... I'm done with this game. It, I don't like Spoon Trap. So, yeah, this is Shadow Wolf and... I don't think I'm coming back to this game. But if you really want me to, then yeah, I will. And it doesn't tell you how to get rid of Springtrap. It's just like, he's there. If I flip my screen up and put it back down, he'll get me. So, this is Shadow Wolf. I'll see you later.